Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win, you find a way to lose. Shocking news, and I'm going to tell you, this is the most earth-shattering news that I've come across since I've been uh, creating boxing content. Uh, I started my boxing channel like four years ago, then, you know, things happened, started it back a year ago. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. And let me tell you, I, I hear about a lot of things. I see a lot of things. So not much surprises me. But I'm going to tell you right now. With Deontay Wilder, I never would have thought he would have attached himself with a promoter out of Saudi Arabia. Now, the reason for that is because the whole thing with Tyson Fury and the Kinahal connection and the Irish mob and the suggestion that there was some foul play and Deontay Wilder saying he knows for a fact and people have told him that they know he was cheated in the Fury fights. Uh, I, I just would never think he would have signed with a Saudi Arabian promoter. But the bottom line is, look, people are going where the money is. And uh, the former heavyweight champion, Deontay Wilder, is now joining Usyk, who's also signed over there with Skill Challenge Promotions. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know I've been talking a lot about Saudi, a lot about the Secret Society, and a lot about Skill Challenge Promotion and just exactly what they're trying to do with boxing. And I've even said, that, you know, hey, look, it may be, it may be legit. You know, it may not be any Kinahan involvement, although... I came across an article the other day that suggests there may still be some involvement with Kinahan. I don't know about what skill challenge promotion, but he's involved somehow with boxing still. But we take it with a grain of salt. Uh, we're just having a conversation. We don't know if any of that to be true. But the bottom line is with Walter, he's been out the ring for a long time. He came back, somebody did the hilarious. Water's coming up in, in a few months, man. It'll be a year out the ring. But but let me tell you. Remember he said, man, with Al Heyman and PBC, that he's an open agent. And uh, it's interesting to me, man, that he's going to be joining Skill Challenge Promotion, uh, Prince Khalid, Amir Abdallah, and even Derek Chisora, who's heavily involved uh, with skill channel promotion promotion now Derek Chisora actually has a position where he's involved with trying to you know uh, bring fights and other sports uh, to and huge events to the kingdom so there's a lot going on with skill channel promo promoter but let me tell you something with Deontay Walter signing over there that that that's huge man that almost that almost guarantees and a guy like Wilder fighting in Saudi, I mean, it, it almost guarantees that he and Yusik will get a fight. And I think that is very interesting because if, if Yusik and Fury for some reason don't fight, you know, hey, a lot of these promoters, what do they do? <clears throat> they fight their guys against each other. Let me tell you something, dude. The reality of a wilder Yusik fight is is growing and it probably seems to be more realistic than water fighting Dillian White water fighting Tyson Fury again water fighting AJ so there's so, so many different things going on with the heavyweight division but I'm telling you right now the, the business of boxing this money is making match making difficult and when you narrow it down Deontay Wilder like a lot of boxers right now, they just want to get paid. And the place to go right now to get the most bang for your buck is Saudi Arabia Skills Challenge Promotion. And I'm going to tell you what, Deontay Water, he can knock people out. People love knockouts. He goes out there to Saudi Arabia. It doesn't matter who he fights. But let's say he picks like a little C-level opponent. And he goes and he fights out there in Saudi. Makes huge money. And he obliterates that person. Deontay Wilder 
is going to be like a phenom out there. But long story short, Deontay want to do what's best for him. We're going to see people if skills challenge promotion is the next best thing. A lot more people who are interested in signing over there. Don't be surprised. Remember, everybody, when the zone picked up Canelo, everybody went crazy and developed more of an interest in the zone because they figured they picked up Canelo. It's got to be a good thing, you know what I'm saying? So other boxers developed an interest. You already had Houston going over. Now Wilder's going over. You're going to see other fighters developing an interest. I'm telling you all right now, pay attention. And I think they should go and get the money, but just they need to really vet this whole skills challenge promotion thing, man. They need to vet it through the appropriate channels because, man, I'm telling you right now when it comes to golf and the kingdom getting involved with golf and hosting, hosting events over there in the kingdom, man, the PGA ain't trying to hear that. They, they, they are sitting there, man, and giving their players a hard time you can't just go over there and decide you want to play golf in Saudi Arabia. PGA, those small ball sports, they're not they're making it hard on their athletes. You could see something like that eventually happen with boxing. I don't know. I'm just telling you right now, Deontay Wilder signed with a Saudi Arabian promoter. It's an open agent. He's doing what's best for him in his career. So let's see how it plays out. That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. You know, I'm in the breeze.